Hello guys and welcome back to another Premiere Pro tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install plugin transitions in Premiere Pro. To begin, I've imported these two clips onto my timeline over here and I want to show you how to apply plugin transitions rather than using the default transition that comes with Premiere Pro. So the first thing I'm going to do is to introduce you to this website where I get my plugin transitions from and it's called miskit.com. So come over to miskit.com. And the next thing you want to do is to scroll down to whatever platform you are using. For this tutorial, I'm going to be selecting transitions under Premiere Pro. As you can see, you can get transitions for After Effects, Final Cut, DaVinci Resolve, and many more. So I'm going to select transitions under Premiere Pro. And if you slide around these transitions, you are allowed to see what these transitions look like. So I'm going to just select this first transition. And all you need to do is to hit download for free and it starts downloading automatically. I'm going to cancel this because I already have this download. So once it's downloaded on your PC, all you need to do is to go over to your download where you have it as a zip file, right click, and you want to extract these files using 7-zip or WinRAR and extract it to the same folder where you have this zip file and double click on it. What you'll be greeted with is the video preview, the Premiere Pro project and the assets. Now it's important that you understand how to install different plugins from different free stock platforms because their methods of installing in Premiere Pro are usually different. I'm going to show you how to install plugin transitions from MixKit. So the first thing you need to do is to come over back to Premiere Pro where I've created this sequence and I've imported these two projects over here. And you need to go over to your project panel over here. And in this project panel, all you need to do is to hit Ctrl plus I to import and go to where you have that extracted folder and select the Premiere Pro project and hit open over here. And automatically this dialog box over here will appear. I'm going to select create folder for imported items and hit OK. And this dialog box will appear. It's important that we take note of what is showing here. It's seeing missing media for these clips. So we're looking for this particular media 1920 by 1080 JPG. Now this media is inside the folder that was extracted. So we need to select locate and go over to where we extracted our files for me. It was under downloads. I'm going to go over to my local disk and scroll down to where I have my downloads. Let me expand this so you can see it better. So if we go back to my downloads over here, you can see the name of this folder is Miss Kids Zoom Transition. So inside Premiere Pro, you want to scroll down and look for Mix Kit Zoom Transition. I'm going to scroll down to M. Yes, so we have it Mix Kit Zoom Transition 131. And under that Mix Kit Zoom Transition 131, we are going to Assets to look for this 1920-1080 file. Select it and hit OK. And automatically, we have this folder now imported into Premiere Pro. So we need to select this arrow drop down to see everything over here. And if we come over here and select this sequence over here, automatically it's going to open a new sequence here. So this is the first sequence where we have our files and this is the new sequence that came with the plugin transitions we imported. Now to import this into this sequence over here, all you need to do is to come over here and highlight these files over here and drag it to this other sequence over here and make sure that the line in between these clips falls directly in between our clips also. So basically, the line in between this transition aligns with the line between our clips over here. And if I go back now and hit play, you can see this transition applied to our clip. You may need to render it to make it move faster. And that's it guys for now to add plugin transitions to your clip in Premiere Pro. Thank you for watching and see you in my next tutorial tomorrow.